So much medias, so much knowledge. Welcome to Mr. Mojo and today we are counting down our picks on how to be a media literate citizen. Before we begin, please subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. The internet has given us many opportunities to get different messages across, maybe a personal, political, or social. However, many people have taken it in a wrong way, using it to attack each other's beliefs. What was once envisioned as a platform for communication and idea sharing has turned into a haven of destructive criticism. This is because people on the internet lack one important requirement before indulging into the web. Media literacy, which is described as a user's ability to interpret media and control their users wisely. Here are the five ways you can take to becoming a media literate citizen in your community. Number one. Think before you post. When you tweet, share, or send, a media information literate individual knows how to differentiate a right post from wrong ones and avoiding spreading informations that he or she knows will offend other people. Contents such as subtweets, indirects, and rants are few examples of things that don't belong on public cyberspace. Number two, you don't hate, you educate. Let's face it, it's hard to respect what other people think when their so-called opinions are nasty and morally wrong. However, you don't need to insult them for it in front of everyone via the World Wide Web. A media literate person knows how to approach this situation in a mature way by making use of DM features or the direct messaging features. You can find it on Instagram, Facebook, and Messenger. Number 3. We believe in the power of facts. Just like how a good knight walks into battle with his sword, an internet user's best weapon is his knowledge. Make sure you know the full details about certain issues before sharing your opinions. Do a quick fact check before clicking send to ensure no miscommunication between you and your readers. Number 4. You foresee the aftermath of your post. Will it educate others? Will it spark their interest in the said issue? or it will cause an uproar and will become a cause for online negativity. Make sure your post leaves a positive message to your readers that will enable them to think critically and be as involved in issues as you want them to. Number 5. You think of people affected. Bear in mind that the people you type about are humans too. They get hurt when they are talked about unless you highlight their good points. Don't use the internet to spread rumors and embarrassing stories about others. What may seem like a funny moment for you may be humiliating for the star of your story. We hope you apply those 5 steps. It will surely help you to become a media literate citizen in your community. Did you learn something in our video? If you did, please leave a comment on the comment box. So please subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos.